The grandfather of murdered Florida toddler Kaylee Anthony remains under psychiatric evaluation. George Anthony was rushed to the hospital last week after police found him in a motel room with a suicide note. Police say George Anthony failed to show up for a meeting last Thursday with his attorney, Brad Conway, and family members became concerned after receiving some of Anthony's text messages. One of them said he didn't want to live and that he wanted to be with his murdered two-year-old granddaughter, Kaylee. That prompted Conway to call 911. And he has taken several bottles of medication from his house, as well as some pictures, and, and uh, we're worried that, that something is, he's done something to himself. Authorities traced Anthony's cell phone to an area in Daytona Beach and found his car at this motel. Inside one of the rooms, they found a despondent Anthony, along with a lengthy suicide note. George Anthony's daughter, Casey, is charged in connection with Kaylee's death. The girl's remains were found in December, five months after the family reported her missing. Joining us from Orlando, Florida, Brad Conway, attorney for Kaylee's grandfather, George Anthony. Good morning, Mr. Conway. Good morning, Maggie. Your client has been through so much. His granddaughter was murdered. His daughter has been charged with the crime. But this has all been going on for a long time now. What do you believe pushed him over the edge now? Well, I think it's a combination of things, Maggie, but uh, one of the main things is the inability to, to bury Kaylee. Uh, they've been very patient, and this has been uh, gone on over a month, and they are ready to lay her to rest with dignity and respect, and they've been unable to do that. Has there been any movement by the Sheriff's Department to charge either George or his wife Cindy with anything, and could that have triggered something? No, there isn't. I don't anticipate that happening. and. Um, from the beginning, I have said that they have cooperated, they haven't done anything wrong, and I think the general consensus with the sheriff's office and the state attorney's office is that uh, I'm correct and, and there, are no, there is no interest in charging them. It has been said throughout the course of this investigation by several people that they believe their daughter is a socio sociopath and had something to do with Kaylee's death. Do you believe that? I've heard that from other people, but George and Cindy simply don't know what the facts are. Uh, a lot of us don't, you know, there's a lot of speculation, but what we all need to do is allow a jury to make that decision after the state proves beyond a reasonable doubt. How is your client George doing this morning? Is he well enough to leave uh, the psychiatric care that he's been under? Maggie, I, I don't think that, that he is yet, and uh, I'll be talking to his doctors later this morning, as will Cindy, and uh, we'll make that decision based on what his doctors say, let the professionals do their job. At this point, do you see him recovering from this, getting back his will to live? Absolutely. George is going to be okay. He's, he's, got, he's got some work to do, and uh, the compassion and the prayers that have been sent out to him are, are part of what's going to get him through it. Brad Conway, thank you for your time. Thank you, Maggie.